I've seen the posts in the 3D printing community groups. People are on holidays, they've got their 3D printers and they don't know what to print. Well, hopefully with this in this video, I've got you covered. You know the situations where something happens and you just really need to express yourself strongly? You look around and it's just not the right time to drop an F-bomb. That's where this comes in. This is a 3D printed F-bomb and you can drop it in situations where it's appropriate to do so. If you're watching with your kids and then wondering what an F-bomb is, F of course stands for frustration. The outside of my shape was based on a famous nuclear bomb and I think I got it pretty right. I think it's a pretty interesting looking shape. Can I please stress that I don't intend this video to be an endorsement of violence or bombing or anything like that. Please just treat it as lighthearted holiday fun. Let's have a quick look at how I modeled this. I designed this in my CAD of choice on shape and I went through quite a few iterations. The mechanism was quite complicated to design but works quite simply in the final product. There are some parts with intentional overlap and they will hold things in place before the mechanism is triggered. There's a Thingiverse link in the description and all of the STLs have been orientated to print without support. If you're really keen you can try and print the whole lot in a single plate on most printers. You would have noticed the outside of my printed version is not the prettiest thing and that's because I had some issues while I was printing. I did the exterior shell in grey on my TiVo Tornado to which I recently fitted a Titan Aero Extruder. After filming that I tweaked something in the firmware, accidentally put in a typo which led to the wrong thermistor reading and failure after failure. Eventually I got the parts done but not after wasting a lot of time and plastic. Now with anything that's already printed and intended to be dropped on the ground, breakages are going to be a very real thing. To alleviate this, if you have a 3D pen, I recommend running a seam down the inside of the shells and that will give them a lot more strength. Failing that, I've got some printable support parts that you can glue into place that should achieve the same thing. Now that we've got our parts printed, it's time to look at how to assemble. You're going to need some extra hardware and that's 12 M3 by 8 screws, 5 M3 by 16 or 20 screws, a bunch of small rubber bands and an Allen key. After this we can take our nose, upper and lower pieces, put the nose against the 45 degree surface and then insert the upper piece with one of our longer M3 screws to secure it in place. You're cutting a thread as you go so you might need to hold it with pliers as you get it tightened the whole way. It should slide back and forth freely from this point. Now to install the rubber bands. These are loom bands generously donated by my daughter. I wrap them once around on themselves to increase the tension and then you simply got to feed it over the two pieces and drop it into the little channel. As I rotate it around it should be pretty clear where it's going to sit. Repeat this another three times and you should have all four rubber bands in place. Next up we're going to take our remaining M3 by 16 screws. We're going to screw them in in a circular array so only the first part of the screw is in the plastic. After this we take our connector piece and we gently put it underneath the rubber band to hook it around and then we move it down into position, line up the two holes and do up the screw the rest of the way. At this point you should be able to see how the mechanism functions and when you've got all four in place you'll be able to do a test launch. Rotate the top piece around so everything lines up, push it down as you fold up the four connectors and now it's primed and when you drop it on the ground everything should be released and it should spring open. This means it's time to install the four outer shells. Now if you don't want to use screws here because you're worried about damaging your floor, you can simply super glue this into place, but if a rubber band breaks, it's going to be a lot harder down the track to replace it. We're going to be cutting a thread as we go, so take your time, get it tight without stripping the inside. I've tried to model it so any printer with good accuracy will have the tolerances just right. Final step is to take our F. It has an octagon that fits inside the center orifice. Simply push it down from the top to secure. Hopefully you've worked out how to set the mechanism before you drop it, but just in case, here's a few tips. As you fold up the exterior quarters, you want to be pushing down on the top of the F. There should be clearance through the upper hole to push down with your finger, and a satisfying click will mean that everything is in position. Now you can enjoy the novelty of dropping a 3D printed F-bomb. That's it, short and sweet. Hopefully you can print this and get some enjoyment out of it. I've been sitting on this idea for quite a long time, and anyone I mentioned to seemed to have a bit of a chuckle, so hopefully you enjoy it too. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy 3D printing. G'day, it's Michael again. If you liked the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe, and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.